Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Happy Thursday and St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Thursday, March 17th, 2022. I'm Derek Shore, and you can see Courtney Zabowski is hanging out with us today. We How are you doing? easy for you. Great. Instead of just another name, it's Courtney. Not only just Courtney, but Courtney Z. So Courtney Z. <laughs> it's great. We're glad to have you in while Courtney has the day off. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, as we mentioned. Did you see the tweet earlier today from the Dublin airport? They're reminding people, do not call it Patty's Day. They say it's okay to say St. Patty's Day. A lot of people take issue with that. They say paddy wagon comes from the term of hauling all the drunk That's true. people That's very to true. jail. Have you ever been in a paddy wagon? Uh, I have not been in okay. a paddy wagon, but there's always a first for everything. So call it St. Patrick's Day the way it was originally intended. How about that? Happy St. Patrick's Day. We, happy St. Patrick's Day to you. We don't want to offend the Irish. Coming up today on Houston Life, hold on to your shamrocks. We're going to be playing some pretty fun St. Patrick's Day party games. Everyone can play at home with a family. And we're also celebrating with some Irish beer. KPRC 2's Justin Stapleton shows us where to go to find a proper Guinness pour right here in Houston. Okay, that's very important. Also, Lauren Kelly is getting in on the fun with a lesson in traditional Irish dancing. She is hanging out with a talented group of dancers from the Cass Barrington Academy of Irish Dance. And Joe is in the studio with a closer look at a celebrity couple lucky in love and providing renovation tips. Hey, Joe. Hey, guys. That's absolutely right. Happy St. Patrick's Day to both of you, Derek Courtney, local MMA fighter Jessica Aguilar, and NCIS actress Shalita Grant recently renovated a home here in Houston and are wanting to help others first-timers with some do's and don'ts from their experience. That's coming up. Wow, and the final product looks great, Joe. But before we get into all of that, let's get a check of today's forecast. Hey, Justin, getting a little windy out there right now. Yeah, it certainly is. It's one of those, I mean, if my hair ever moved, it would move out there today. It doesn't. But if you do, you might need uh, a hair tie or two because it is really starting to pick up out there. This is a live shot. Notice that the clouds have really filled in, too. Temperature is quite pleasant. We're sitting basically anywhere from around the, uh, well, I'll call it low to mid-70s, 78 in Cleveland. That's our hot spot right now. Touch cooler where the clouds have been a little thicker down towards Columbus at 69. Now you say, well, gosh, there's probably got to be some showers. Not yet. The front that we're watching, we'll talk about that coming up here, guys, at 3.30. Uh, also, well off to the north and west, but for the rest of the day today, should be good. We're going to keep those storm chances at around 30-40%. And again, that'll just be the hit and miss variety. I'm not expecting anything uh, too major. So certainly your St. Patrick's Day plan should be just fine. And, oh, that's right, there's basketball and a oh, rodeo is still going on as well. If you're going to see my cousin from another mother, not really, wish I was as popular as he is, Mr. Chris Stapleton will be on the rotating stage tonight. Could see a chance of a storm or two, especially as we get to about 8, 9 o'clock. Otherwise, a little cooler, a little damp as we head in towards tonight. Better forecast tomorrow. Weekend still looks good. Uh, and then, of course, next week we're going to talk about some storms as we uh, welcome in the first official week of spring. Not only that, but Derek and Courtney, uh, I got something special for you here you know we were talking about that perfect pour uh-oh there it is we're gonna nice. do some pouring on Houston live coming up here in uh, just about 15 minutes we'll see how you guys do yeah we understand you're an expert now Justin Ooh. so we look forward to a little taste test how does don't that know sound? if I'd I'm go that far cheers. but we'll try it <laughs> okay Justin Chris Stapleton's cousin we'll see you in just a bit so of course Courtney today is st. Patrick's Day I think we've said that a few times now yeah, and uh, I think we should maybe take the other camera to see what's going on on the other side of our set right now we figured we would celebrate with some Wheaton Terriers Coda and Percy so that's Coda right there she is seven years old and that's little Percy five months old so uh, yeah they are getting along quite well here in Studio B it said that Wheatons had hair over their eyes and faces to protect themselves from the varmints they would hunt on the farm. Didn't realize Did that. Didn't realize that either. And they look like they're playing like a true uh, siblings right there because uh, I think one doesn't like sharing with the other. The other used to have a brunette, born a brunette, but then as he got older, turned blonde. Oh my gosh. Kind of like me. Oh. I mean, it's weird how that happened. Well, and I was blonde and I turned brown, but back on the subject of dogs, yeah, you're right. They, uh, you know, Percy has much darker hair than Coda at age seven, so uh, 
We'll see. Oh my god. So cute. Oh, there they okay. go. <laughs> this is going to be fun. By the way, uh, little text man, in case you're wondering, he is in studio as well. So maybe we can get him to join to join in. <laughs> on he the might want to just watch this. <laughs> he might. You know what? I could watch them all day. We love that they feel right at home. That's We're a sweet. welcoming bunch here at Houston Life. Okay, so speaking of welcoming, it's so great to welcome you back to KPRC. Thank you. Fans and viewers of uh, KPRC2, they've seen you on our air. And over the years, you've taken a couple breaks from the business to spend more time with family. Right, yes. I was working at another local station for several years. In 2014, took a little break, had two little boys, um, Jagger and Decker. One's five, one's four. They're crazy. It is crazy in my house. Oh, but my, gosh, my husband adorable. had three children. So we are now a family of seven. That's Jagger, the big one. Decker, the little one. Um, so we are a family of seven. Wow. Um, they range in age from 21 to 24. That's the fam right now. Uh, two are in college and uh, one in preschool. So that's our kitchen table. So you can imagine what meals are like at that's our table. That's an actual family photo. That looks straight out of like a magazine or oh, that's, an ad. That's like every like Tuesday, Wednesday night. That's that's how we pose and look. Just and, a uh, typical evening. Typical evening. Y'all look great together. Thank looks you. like you have a lot of fun. Yeah, we do. And that, we went fishing in, in the summer. And this was my house last night in the backyard. That's Spidey. Oh. And uh, Cat Boy from PJ Masks. <laughs> and this is what goes on in our backyard every night. So, you know, it, it's a lot of activity. What was the occasion? Just a, just a regular uh, So night? today is Purim. In Purim, addition yeah. to St. Patrick's Day. So they Jewish went to holiday. school dressed up like that today. So oh they were practicing gosh. their outfits for Purim. That is super, super cool. And it's funny, chatting before the show, first of all, I didn't realize we went to rival colleges. Fight on USC. Go Bruins, yeah, UCLA. Whatever, but whatever. that's okay. We still it's love a, you. It's cool. It's cool. But also, uh, over the years, when you're out covering stories, you run into your peers at other stations. And I think we have some throwback Thursday photos with, uh, let's see, who's that? Well, that, right that's actually from, field? yeah, that's from Kenneth Harvey. Craig. You may know that. But um, mm -hmm. this is just reporting from Harvey. This is, um, you know, kind of what I was doing in between. I was kind of chasing hurricanes for about a year. But there's that throwback picture. Look wow. who that is. Lauren Kelly right, right there. there. Sam Malone in the middle there. We were emceeing something. And then... There's Courtney. Courtney, Courtney Zavala. Zavala. They're and, on the uh, left side. So, you, like, dueling live shots, is that what was happening? Dueling live shots. Mike Glenn from the Chronicle took that picture. He called this the, the dueling Courtney Z's. The dueling Courtney yes. Z's. Well, what a great, great shot. And, and a lot of fun memories in the business uh, that you've had with a lot of our peers. We're glad to have you on Houston Life today. Great to be here. Thank We're going to have some fun. Let's get on with the show. Well, still to come from St. Patrick's Day events to deals and steals you can score, where you can find a list of fun ways to celebrate around town. And as we had to break, a reminder that Houston Life has teamed up with the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation's Women of Distinction event to showcase women in our community who give back. And today we are honoring Heidi Smith. Heidi hopes the legacy she leaves behind for Houston women is the reminder that sometimes the greatest impacts occur in small but meaningful ways. You can scan the QR code on your screen if you'd like to learn more about Heidi and for more on the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation and their Women of Distinction 2022, visit their website, Crohn'sColitisFoundation.org. And stay Stay tuned as we continue to honor these women all month long. Houston Life, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Houston Life. Derek Shore here along with Courtney Zabowski. It is time for our H-Down sit down. Let's meet today's guest. For the past 15 years, Cheryl Pixio has been a central figure in the Houston Filipino community. An award-winning producer, model, and show host, the former Miss Philippines Houston covers current events in Texas as a correspondent for the Filipino News Channel. Cheryl joins us today for our H-Town sit-down. Her smile can light up a room. Come on out, Cheryl. For the past 15 oh. years... Oh. Good to see you. I can't believe we're hugging. I know, right? That's nice. Yes. Feels good, oh my it? gosh, I am just excited that everything is getting back to normal. Well, we are too. And Cheryl, our viewers, oh uh, you have so many fans in the KPRC2 world. Cheryl has been on Houston Life. I don't even know oh my, how many like times now. Seven? Nine? I'm not sure. And how I lost life? count. It was so much fun to, to see this this video. How how's your husband? He's here in studio. How's life? Oh, that's Oh my is. gosh, it's just busy, especially in the Philippines. The presidential election is coming up soon. It's actually, I think it's on May 9th. And of course, I am tagged here as one of the correspondents to inform the community what's going on over there. That's good. Yeah. That's so good. So just keep 
keeping myself busy. I mean, busy is good. I like being busy, you know, but of course, slowing down is important too. It's it sure. Slowing down is very it important sure is. too. Stop, stop and smell the roses. <laughs> okay, so let's chat about this first topic. Okay. Um, I'm excited to have you both weigh in. You know the Disney film Encanto? Oh, yeah. Yes. People yes. are losing it's their minds. Bruno, Please don't talk babe. about Bruno. Don't talk about Bruno. So this, in case you haven't seen the film, this is Mirabelle on the screen, and this character is played by an actress named Stephanie Beatrice. She's She's also, uh, she stars in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So she just did this interview with Variety Magazine. There she is, look how beautiful she is. Aww. So guess what, she recorded one of the songs, and this is one of the most popular songs in the film. Oh. Waiting for a Miracle, it's called. She recorded it while she was in labor. <gasps> Incredible, yes. She was, having, she, she was having contractions while she was recording this. Are you this. kidding and she, me? She says she didn't tell Disney because she didn't want anyone to freak out and worry that she couldn't do the job. Ladies, weigh in. Okay, well, first of all, okay. Okay. In labor, it would be a high-pitched sound coming out of my mouth, but not like talking about the family madrigal. Her, okay, no. Her soprano uh, just got so much higher. Yeah, what uh, happened? I hope she didn't do a whole lot of intensive labor. Ooh! <laughs> oh, good. got that. Got very that. Good. Different types of labor. But it just goes to show, though. I mean, the incredible. I've, I've been with plenty of friends and family members who have been in labor. I know it's you know to just grin and bear it is easier said than done, right? Uh -huh. Much easier. Oh my gosh. I, I, how can you even sing if you're in the labor? I'll probably just all screaming. <laughs> right. I'm, on the way home, I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to really listen to this now to see if you can hear anything. The new know. appreciation. Yes. Yeah. You know, I listened to the song again uh -huh. this morning at work, and you, you, one would never know. Wow. You didn't hear that. Well, kudos, one, two, sir. Three. You didn't hear anything. You did. Yeah. Push. <laughs> what about the, the breathing? Right. Yeah. There, there was none of that. Okay. So I know many people went through the Starbucks drive-through this morning, spent eight dollars on their typical drink. Yes. Right. Because it's not. Inexpensive. That's my routine right? every morning. It is? Yeah. You must be yeah. rich, okay? <laughs> so Starbucks just announced they are phasing out disposable cups by the end of next year. This means plastic and paper cups. So how are they going to serve? What? You just have to open your mouth, they'll dump the coffee right in. The, no, I'm you kidding. You just put out your cup? Seriously? No, I'm kidding. Oh. You, you either have to bring your own reusable cup. Mm. Like right. a glass right. cup, like what? a KPRC2 cup I just put out there. And or, yeah, you could do that. Or they are testing out this program where you would actually borrow a cup, put down a deposit, ah. that you can then take the cup with you, and once you return the cup, you get the deposit back. What do you think? Okay. I was thinking, like, I'm already paying $8, and I still have to pay, I have to bring my own mug, my own cup. Can I bring my Bucky's mug there? <laughs> the 32 ounce? Right. The Can I one. use my 32 ounce? That is great. My question, are they going to charge less now? Because they're you not... You're bringing your own mug. Yeah, your own cup. You know, like, are we going to get cheaper Starbucks coffee? Probably not. Can you it, know, but let's, yeah. let's put that out there. That is a very interesting point. I mean... <laughs> That's a good one. I always think it's strange that, especially when it comes to plastic, you know, you use it for a few minutes, and then once you're done with it, it's designed to last for a long, long time, like longer than we Maybe will be on Earth. Maybe there's a certain size, too, because I, I, I will bring my 32-ounce <laughs> mug there, my Bucky's mug. You're big gulp, but, you know, <laughs> whatever you can bring. Can you imagine the drive through line, though, where people are, like, swapping all the mugs out? And, oh, wait, I, I, I swear I have this cup back here somewhere. Here it is. Well, anyway, we'll see what happens. By the end of next year, I think for all of us to use reusable cups, though, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. Not a bad thing. No. Yeah, yeah. it's great. We love it's Mother great Nature. Product. We have to save nature, right? Ooh, Cheryl says with, like, <laughs> Future generations, ah, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so uh, today we are celebrating in so many different ways. I'm glad we all got the green, memo. Green. And wore I'm green. I'm gonna pinch you, I don't see any green. Oh, oh right there. I have green I here can. and my green socks, <laughs> and I'm part Irish. Our boss, Jerry, pointed out that the Irish always say they don't need to wear green mm. because they've got green, green in, their in their blood. All right. There you go. So listen, we've got the ultimate list of Irish-inspired events. Click to Houston.com, there's an article where you can find all kinds of deals in Irish cheer around town from green beer to shepherd's pie to Guinness coffee cake. That mm. all sounds delicious. That sounds very good. It mm. does. That, mm. Yum. Yummy, yummy. Yummy all for right. my tummy. Yes. All right. <laughs> well, while we're pondering that and pretending we're eating something, let's yeah. check in with Joe Sam with our question of the day. Okay, so you guys, a lot of people have been coming up pinching me. I just finished telling you about that earlier, saying I don't have on green. But just check out the shoes. They are lime green. So I want to just pull them up right here. As you guys can see, lime green shoes, so nobody needs to be pinching Wrong me today. Wrong color green, Joe. <laughs>
<laughs> well, it's, it's still like in the green spectrum, okay? okay, okay. <laughs> we want to hear from you guys. How are you celebrating St. Patrick's Day? Bonus points for pictures, and we have those pictures and some comments already coming in. Let's take a look at the big board. Sean, he writes in, at Huel Connors, already celebrating with the green beer. Love that, Sean. Okay, we have Tom coming in. He says, attending two good friends' wedding. Yeah, oh. cheers to you guys. And happy, of course, happy wedding and happy life together, too. Cindy, she writes in, making my mother's Irish stew and chocolate chip and oatmeal cinnamon raisin cookies with green sprinkles on top. Ooh, that mm. sounds good. I need to be invited over. <laughs> All right, we want you guys to head over to our Houston Life Facebook page, join that conversation. We'll share a little bit more of your comments a little later in the show. What are you guys doing for St. Patrick's Day? That's what we have for each of you on the couch. We've got some ice cold beer at home for sure. How about you two? Ooh, I want a green margarita. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. With the salt on it. I'm a Prosecco kind of girl, so I'll just maybe put a couple like drops of food coloring and then you got your green Prosecco. Okay. okay. That all sounds really good. Joe, yeah. thanks for all your comments. We'll see you in just a bit. No problem. Thanks to our viewers as well. Okay, so uh, Cheryl Pixio, mm -hmm. what do you say you stick around and you help us play a little game Ooh, later on in today's sounds show? Sounds exciting. Okay, so sit tight. We're uh -huh. going to have some fun. I will. Okay. I will. <laughs> okay, coming up on Houston Life, cheers to beer. Justin Stapleton shows us where we can all go. This is very important to find a proper Guinness pour in H-Town. Oh, yes, today is the day. And now let's check in with Lauren Kelly, who's learning about some traditional Irish dance moves today. Hi, Lauren. Hey, guys, I've got some pros here from the Cast Barrington Academy of Irish Dance. I can't keep up yet, but we're going to learn all about those traditional dance moves when Houston Life returns. All right, so in honor of St. Patrick's Day, we thought we'd go around to some of the more well-known Irish pubs here in Houston to find out who pours the perfect pint of Guinness beer. I bet you didn't know that was a thing. Well, in fact, it is, and we're here at McGonagall's Mucky Duck. We're gonna find out if they do the perfect pour. Come on. What are we looking for when we, when we find that perfect pour? First thing is a nice, clean, preferably Guinness glass. There you go. And when you start, it is a Tilt it about 45 degrees. I'm gonna it about 75%. Okay. Now it feels like you've done this before. Yeah. Once or twice. I've been here 20 plus years. So, I've been <laughs> quite a bit. so now, what's it doing now? Because they right. will have this. This is this is like it's settling, right? Right. It is settling. You can see the nitrogen bubble, bubbles kind of come up, and you can kind of watch it cascade. Um, as soon as it gets fairly black, we'll kind of finish it off here. Take it. Here, push back a little, a little bit slower. Now, the big important thing is to make sure when you finish it off that it's proud of the rim, which I will show you what that means. Okay. See how it's proud of the rim here? Okay. It's up above the got it. The lip, and then once it turns completely black, black, you're ready to drink it. You're ready to go. Looks good. Thank you. All right, this is stop number two. We are at Penny Whistle. This looks promising. Let's head inside and see if they can do the perfect pour as well. So we are trying to find out who could do the perfect pour. This looks pretty good. As, as a certified perfect pourista, uh, what are you looking for? We're looking to really highlight uh, the crafted two-part pour, but we really want the presentation. And what matters most here is glassware, that it's poured in the correct glass. That's interesting because that's the first we've heard of that. So if, let's say if I were to just take, you know, a regular pint glass or so like this, why would this be insufficient to what you're trying to create there? So our Guinness glass is actually engineered, engineered to promote nucleation in a sense where the nitrogen, it's too lively to dissolve in the liquid, so it rises to the surface instead. This tulip shape actually allows for the beer to rise in a manner that it collects perfectly in the head of the beer, and that's what gives it that really nice aroma and that really great look. Right. 
seal of approval, mustache and all. Justin right? Stapleton joins us now. Proud of the rim, the head must be. Yes. Okay. Very important part to that too. Now, and obviously, I don't have the proper glasses. This is about the the, the best that I've you got. You have the here. proper glasses. Well, they're hard to find because they come straight from Dublin. But these okay. are close enough that we're going to go ahead. This is from my good friends over at Lone Pine Brewery, so they'll help us out. Okay. Now, first, I want you guys grab your uh, grab your Guinness there. Okay. okay. Can you shake mine up, Justin. Nope, not at all. Now, listen. You notice there's something in there. Yes. Shaking around, right? So open up, because oh it's gosh. an extra, it's, I'm it's open an extra, this no, way. no, 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 you're fine. You go ahead and just open it up. There's extra carbonation in there, some nitrous, and that's what oh, wow. causes, uh-huh. And the thing okay. that's rolling around, there's like a ball in there's the There's a ball in there. It's like a can so of now, spray paint. Remember, we've got to go 45 so, degrees. Okay. Okay, and we're going to go about three quarters of the way up. You're All doing right. great, Courtney. Look at thank this. Thank you. Thank you. It's like you Special. bartended back in the day. Well, right? maybe I did. Yeah, there we go. The okay, so stop barista. that. So now, the other part is... We're going to let it sit. Now, if you look at this, too, and I'll jump this up here so you guys can... Oh, here we go. If you look, notice that you can see it starting to separate, right? And so what's happening is, is that it's slowly working its way down to the bottom, and you're allowing the head to start to form in and of itself up top here as well. And so this whole process generally will take anywhere from around four to five minutes. So that's why if you go to Penny Whistle, if you go to Pimlico, if you go to a Monkey Dock, any of the, the you know true Irish pubs here across the greater Houston area, they will give you this, and then they'll put it down, and don't touch it, because if you touch it, they'll, you, they'll slap your hand. No, <laughs> just kidding, they won't. But they have to let it settle, and you have to let it get to the point right about here where they go. And so now, Courtney, let's finish, finish that out. Continue the okay. process. Yep, and you do Pour that it. as well, Derek. Same what angle, right? Same well. angle, right? We're gonna Are we do going to do the same all the way angle. here? We're going all the way. Okay. It is beautiful go. to watch uh -huh. the way the nitrogen sort of cascades exactly. down through that glass. Perfect, Courtney. Right. So now what we do is you give it another minute or two until it gets as black as what you see on the front of the can here. And that, my friends, is how you have yourself a nice and perfect Guinness pour. But Justin, the head is not proud of the rim on mine. That's well, a these are a, these are a little a little little larger than what the tulips are, but uh, we're, we're we're making do here. These aren't from Dublin. <laughs> Live television. <Okay. laughs> Justin, that was really interesting. From really glassware was. to the head being proud of the yeah. rim, I learned a few things. Yeah, very important too. They're very serious. You saw the uh, lady Macy. That was the one with the Guinness shirt on. She is a certified rep from Guinness themselves, and they do secret shoppers across the different uh, pubs here in the Greater Houston area. And it's just like a secret shopper for a clothing place or whatnot. They don't do it right. They get dinged. Well, I think we got dinged today because we did yes. break a few of the rules. Justin Stapleton, thank you, you so much. Enjoy. And uh, Justin, we'll be back with our forecast coming up at the half hour. So, Justin, thanks for that. You got it, guys. And this is definitely one of the busiest groups around town today, Irish dancers. Yeah, you know, a perfect way to burn off some of that green beer is with some traditional Irish dancing. Lauren Kelly is standing by with this group of very talented dancers. Lauren, how's your lesson going so far? Um, it's going okay, Derek and Courtney. Now, you guys mentioned that these guys are super busy today. They literally came in from five gigs earlier off the van, got in, and are here with us today. This is Laura Cast. You are an instructor, teacher, and co-owner here at the Cast Barrington Academy of Irish Dance. I didn't know that Houston had such a plethora of Irish talent. You know, Houston is so big and so spread out, and there are little pockets of Irish communities here, and we have four locations spread out around Houston so that way people you know in those pockets can come and because you're in high demand today for St. Patrick's Day so today we have with us here we have Hannah we have Michael and we have Nicola let's just kind of go over a few basics when we're talking about your shoes let's start with the shoes what are they called so our the shoes that we're wearing right now are called hard shoes okay uh, they're made of leather and then the tips and heels are made of fiberglass okay so it's not at all like a tap shoe or a claw no it is not the tap shoes have a metal tip um, because our our ours are fiberglass uh, makes a little bit deeper of a sound now for I didn't know this but most of your dancing you're training to, to dance with your arms at your side that is correct for competition dancing we are not allowed to use our arms um, so we do spins footwork aerial moves and everything is with your arms down for show dancing we add a little bit of arms for some flair and just a little bit more entertainment well you guys are not lacking the flair this is so much fun let's just really quickly tell our viewers how many gigs did you have lined up for today? 
I believe we have about 11 today. Okay, that's all. That's a super, super easy day. Laura, you guys don't go anywhere because coming up a little bit later on the show, you promise that you're going to try to get me, uh, not like this professional, but we will learn a couple of we'll, traditional moves. We'll get you prepared. Okay. All right. Derek and Courtney, give me a little time here to get this going. I did learn that we, sit, we start right here, we point out, and then we squeeze up. And that's just about as far as I got right now. Back to you guys in studio. Hey, it looks good to me. We believe in you, Laura, and we'll see you in this. just a little Thank while. You. All right, now let's check in with Joe Sam for a little home renovation advice. Hi, Joe. Hey, guys. So you see I add a little bit more green to my outfit. That so works. It's good. That works, right? Okay, we're going to go with that. Coming up, we're learning what to do when it comes to updating your home. From Hollywood actress Shalita Grant and local MMA fighter Jessica Aguilar. And, of course, we're going to check of what's coming up for the news at 4, including your St. Patrick's Day forecast. Looking green green out there. Houston Life is back in two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Life. Derek Shore here along with Courtney Zabowski filling in for Courtney today. The time is just after 3.30 p.m. Now let's check in with Andy, Christine, and Justin for a look at what is coming up at 4. Hey guys. Hi guys, happy St. Patty's Day. Yeah, we are tracking the potential for some rain as another front comes our way. And Justin is here with a look at our timeline. Hey. Hey there. Looks like we're going to be dealing with probably later this evening. So most of our afternoon should be fine. Although notice that the clouds are back. This is what we've been looking at for about the latter half, maybe two, three hours or so. Temperatures for the most part sitting anywhere in the mid 70s. It's been warm as well. You can see the camera kind of jiggling. This is on our tower cam uh, right outside the KPRC 2 studios. We've got mid to upper 70s, upper 60s as you get out towards Columbus. They've had a lot more cloud cover out that way uh, for the better half of much of the afternoon. Few sprinkles. That's the only thing I've got so far on the exact track. So if you are going out for St. Patrick's Day this afternoon, this evening, if you're going to watch a little bit of hoops or certainly go to the rodeo, not much of an issue. But there is our front, the warm air being drawn out ahead of that, the low and the cold front itself sweeping their way. Look at all the heavy snow from Albuquerque just to the front range of Colorado. So there is some colder air that this is going to tap into. But we do expect to see a chance for some thunderstorms to start popping as we get to about 6 to 8 to about 10 o'clock. That's probably our biggest window. And none of these are going to be super severe. Not like what we saw Monday where we had a chance for some of those with some big hail makers too. But just keep an eye to the sky. If you've got Frank's Reforecast app on your phone, that's a good resource too. And turn the notifications on if anything does happen to pop around you. Mr. Chris Stapleton in the uh, rotating stage tonight at Houston Road. It looks good as well. We'll be looking at those temperatures in the mid 60s. So a few sprinkles out there. The weekend guys looks phenomenal coming up here at four o'clock. We'll talk about that. And Andy, we've also got some strong storms that look like they're going to try to bullseye for us on Monday. That'll be two Mondays in a row. These look also like they could have some teeth to them. We'll uh, show you the latest on that. And of course, we'll get you the rest of the 10 day here. Just minutes away. The ever changing forecast, Justin. Thank you so much. Here's a look at some of the stories that we are working on for a four o'clock newscast. He's the man accused of shooting and killing his boss at a workplace in Greenway Plaza. What we've learned about his bond and what neighbors are telling us about the victim. The Houston native and WNBA basketball star jailed in Russia right now will have to stay in that country a bit longer. What a Russian court is saying about how long Brittany Griner will have to remain there. Plus, the feds have announced an increase in the key interest rate. Investigator Amy Davis takes a look at how that increase will impact your family. So a lot coming up today at 4 o'clock, you guys. Yeah, sounds like a busy one. We'll see you at 4 o'clock. See you then. Houston Power couple Jessica Aguilar and Shalita Grant took a break from their busy careers to pick up a hammer and renovate Aguilar's childhood home. Yeah, and that house sold for more than $400,000. Now the couple wants to help others with the do's and don'ts of renovations. Joe Sam is here with more. Hi, Joe. That's right, you guys. You see, some of us get lucky doing those renovations. Some of us don't, like myself. But Jessica and Shalita are here to help us. You may know Jessica from her many wins in the hexagon as a pioneer MMA fighter and Shalita from her roles on Netflix as you or NCIS New Orleans. But the couple found a new passion, home renovating, after transforming what they call the house of love. They want to share their experience and advice with others looking to add some extra love to their home. What makes this house so special? Well, it's the, you know, I, I called it the house of love because it's the house where um, I felt the most love growing up as a, as a child. Uh, so uh, family came into my, our life when I was six years old and, you know, never left our side and, and they became like grandparents to me. So when I decided to move back home, 
I uh, the house was up for sale and just made sense to to go ahead and put an offer on it and, and buy it. And uh, then uh, I found love in California, and she came over, and we decided to like. Uh, you know, put some more, put a little more love in it and, and uh... update it. Yeah, for a buyer that would really enjoy it. Because once we got together, we just, we travel so much together. And both of our respective careers, you know, our jobs aren't always in the same place. So um, it just made more sense to renovate it, put some more love in it, and put it back out in the world. For people who are getting into this field who has, have never done this before, what advice would you give them? Just really uh, researching the materials and that they like and before they, they, they install. And I would also say the people that you hire. So don't choose people that are gonna tell you what you wanna hear. So that's how, like, that's what I thought you were gonna say, because that was the biggest lesson you should have learned from this. Oh picture. yeah. <laughs> when those numbers go up, the budget, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> you start <laughs> going crazy. <laughs> yes, yes. So yeah, like I, I think that along those same lines, you know, you really just want to choose things, especially if you're reselling it, you want to think about the most, the, like the common denominator. And most people don't have like super specific taste. They just want something that looks fresh and modern and clean. And so just go with those kinds of... Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to be fancy. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. Congratulations on the home. Congratulations on the sale. And congratulations for finding love because I thank love you, you two so together. Much. And I'm sure you put a lot of love into that house that everyone else is going to be able to enjoy. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Thank Appreciate you. it. Now, to learn more about the couple's experience and their home renovating tips, I'll have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv. It's interesting, Shalita said, to just do something that isn't going to be super fancy, but that home looks really fancy. But I think with, like, <laughs> instead of picking out some really busy wallpaper mm -hmm. pattern, I think just the basics of a simple color palette. Yeah. I mean, the before and afters, they did such a phenomenal job. Oh, they did incredible, and I love what they've done with that home. And it appeals to most people because it's clean, it's fresh, yeah. and it's modern, like they said. Yep. Yeah. All right, Joe. Okay. Thanks. No problem. Now let's check in with Lauren Kelly, who's working on her best Irish jig this afternoon. Hey, Lauren, let's see what you got. Exactly what I'm working on. This is a traditional Irish jig that I am being taught right now, and I will show you what I'm practicing. Ready, guys? Uh, uh, uh. But not the full out yet. When we return, oh, God, if I can remember the steps. That's when Houston Life is back in two minutes. Well, I introduced you guys just a few minutes ago to my friends at the Cass Barrington Academy of Irish Dance here in Houston. These are the busiest group of people, I swear, in the entire city today. So many different gigs, but this is a really special group. This is Laura Cass. You're a teacher. You're also a co-owner. Now, these guys on your team actually are going to world championships, right? Yes. The world championships have been canceled the last two years, so we're really excited to be able to go. It's 23 days away, so we're heading to Ireland. Um, I've got some of our championship That is so here. cool. Let's briefly mention your costume. I, is this a traditional uh, attire for when you guys do competitions and stuff like that? We don't wear these in competitions um, for our school, but this is traditional not worth that's on these. We do have other costumes that we wear in competition. Uh, we have a handful of dresses. Yeah. So. Just for my personal question, I need to know, how do you keep your hair looking so perfect throughout the dances that are like this? <laughs> that's our secret that I can't give away. <laughs> That's the secret sauce, but I'm going to show you guys what we have been practicing. So if we can get our, our world championship dancers back over here with me, the, the hardest thing for me, I think, has been having to dance with my hands down to my sides. But can we go ahead and show our Houston Life viewers what we've been working on? Really fast, Laura, what dance did we learn? We learned the jig. So I can tell people when I do this, like a party trick, that I actually learned an Irish jig, the traditional one. That's right. Okay. All right. We're going to go at my pace today, but when, whenever you you guys are ready. Okay. Five, six, ready, Ed. You guys, the key is to bounce. And I think I just have too many things bouncing. But Casper. 
Washington Academy of Irish Dance. You guys are phenomenal. I can't believe how good and how much fun you are. Y'all, I'm breaking a sweat. I am so hot right now, and they just keep going like it's no problem at all. More info on these guys, and we can see them all year long right here in Houston at HoustonLife.tv. I'm not kidding. Derek and Courtney, I'm not going to the gym today because I'm out of breath and I'm sweating, but I did learn the traditional Irish jig. Well, Lauren Kelly, it's too bad it's not T-shirt Tuesday because the key is to bounce and I have too many things bouncing. Sounds like a winner to me. That is a memorable phrase. That's going to be the next one for sure. You look great. Have fun out there and happy St. Patrick's Day, Lauren. Very, very nice. All right, shifting gears to the NCAA tournament. It is in full swing, and our Texas Southern Tigers will hit the court again tonight near Dallas to take on the University of Kansas. KPRC2 reporter Bill Barajas is heading to the game and joins us now live from the road, I think near Huntsville, right? Hey, Bill. That's exactly right. We're in the Huntsville area, and it doesn't get much better than this. March Madness, as you mentioned, is in full swing. The road to the Final Four, which takes place in New Orleans, will be something everybody will have their eyes on. We are on our way to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, just behind the TSU buses. Want to show you them there just in front of us. The buses, of course, carrying TSU fans and faculty members. Those same fans actually holding a pep rally of sorts on campus. Want to show you video of that just before loading up. Lots of Tiger pride as the team makes their second consecutive NCAA tournament appearance. The Tigers, a 16 seed, taking on the heavily favored Kansas Jayhawks, a number one seed. History, of course, not on the side of a 16 seed, with the 16 seed teams only beating out those one seeds once out of 144 matchups. But again, this is March Madness. Anything can happen. And wouldn't it be something if those TSU Tigers were this year's Cinderella team? team as a proud alumni of the school next door on Cullen Boulevard. I say go Tigers. Let's do it, guys. We're on our way to Fort Worth. We'll have coverage back for you guys uh, tonight at 10 o'clock and uh, beyond that. Uh, so stay with us, not just on KPRC 2 News, uh, on our newscast, but on our social platforms as well. We're live on the road with the TSU Tigers, Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News. Bill Barajas, thank you so much near Huntsville. What an exciting time and a great assignment. It is so fun. Okay. Basketball. And Texie says, uh, go TSU. By the way, we do have to give the Houston Cougs some love. They play tomorrow against UAB in Pittsburgh today at 430. KPRC2 sports reporter Chancellor Johnson will be live from Pittsburgh with the latest. All right, coming up on Houston Life, Texie, we are pressing our luck and continuing to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Let's see if he'll wear that little sweet boy. Sweet. Listen, Tex Man, we've got some fun little games all of us can play at home. It's in life. We'll be right back. Good. Welcome back on this St. Patrick's Day. There are all kinds of ways to celebrate. Cheryl Pixio, we caught you reading your notes. That's okay. Don't worry, though. If you are skipping the pub crawl, why not play a few games at home? That's right. Cheryl Pixio is back, and you've got some games for us. Yes. Um, and there's going to be a winner, right? Of course. Of course. And I'm not going to tell you what prize it will be. Okay. We can't The surprise wait. prize. So explain the rules to us, Cheryl. How does this work? It's very simple. We're going to have St. Patty's Tournament. So whoever wins the most game is the winner. That's it. And how Simple. many games are we doing? I think we're going to be five. Five games. Yes. Okay, so okay. winner of five. Five. Yeah. Okay. Let me go explain to you Maybe guys. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. There Shake you go. hands. <laughs> okay. So uh, very competitive. Let me explain to you guys the uh, the rule of the game first. Okay. For the first game, which is this one, we call this the cabbage ball game or the cabbage crawl. For the first game, you must get down on your hands and knees and push your heads of cabbage towards the finish line just using your head okay no okay. touching don't touch anything just your head just your head they're okay. crawling on your hands and knees and the make line is up there oh, all the way over there on the blue tape if you see the all blue right. tape Text. make sure to hit the cabbage with top of your head not with your forehead so it's less uncomfortable for both of you okay okay I'm ready. all right I'm gonna say when I say ready set then you go oh Texas oh, Tex here okay Tex you want to join too Can you help me? okay one ready set Go! Oh my god, go, 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 go! Oh, oh go Derek, go Derek, go Derek! Go! Oh! oh my gosh, a 1-0. 1-0. Okay, next game. Next game.
game. Shamrock shake. Okay. Hold this one. The, the, tie the tissue box around your waist. We'll get all this only 45 seconds, you guys. Oh okay, and, I'll and then you. you must shake your hips and do the shamrock okay, shake so to be the first one to all the pink to get the ping pong balls out. Okay, okay good. So Go right these here. Are filled with ping pong balls. I heard it's 28 balls in there. Oh, so you have to make sure all the balls are out of the tissue box. Gotta get them all out. Okay. <laughs> Just shake, 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 shake. Shake your booty. Okay, let's tell me. All right. Do we have a time limit on the yes, 45 yes. seconds? Yes, okay. Facing all right. So face, I think I guess you have to face this way. There you go. Uno, dos, ready, set, go! Shake, shake, shake. Oh my God! Go, Derek! Go, Courtney! Shake some more! Shake, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it! <laughs> shake it! Shake your booty! Shake your booty! Go, 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 go! How many more seconds, you guys? <laughs> oh my God! Let me see Courtney yours! Get him out! Oh my God! I think Courtney is winning! Courtney only got two balls! <laughs> Please tell me there's a chiropractor. <laughs> for the okay, next let's game. go move to or the next water one. Or that beer or let's something. go move to the next breath. one. I'm out of breath. Oh my god. Oh. I'm not even part of the game. I'm, I'm tired. You're out of breath too. I'm out of breath. <sighs> okay, I think you're gonna be on this side. Okay. And you're this side. Okay. Okay. This game is let's move over. Uh Lucky on the Green. That's the name of the game. Okay, you have a <laughs> you have a straw. You have a straw, there you okay. go, a plate, and a pile of green M&M's. So all you have to do is inhale, like suck the M&M's, and transfer it on that. In this tiny cup. In okay. the tiny cup. How much time? 45 oh seconds. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, how many 45 seconds? Okay, ready, set, go! Oh my god! Hurry, hurry! Oh, not, not yet, not yet. Oh, Courtney's winning! Derek, let's go! Got three. You got the, oh my god, it's tie again. Four. Oh. Hurry! Inhale! Don't exhale! Just inhale! <laughs> Just inhale! Oh my gosh, suck it, suck it, suck it! <laughs> inhale! Don't exhale! Just inhale it! And then transfer it in the coffee! That's hilarious! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, Derek is winning, Courtney! How many more seconds? Let's see. Oh, Derek. I'm like, I'm not even at all. I'm just Derek. Derek okay, win. next one. I'm Derek win. Win. Just very simple. You're letting me win? I'm letting you win. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. I don't want to okay. shut you off on my first day here. Okay? Use the chopsticks. Transfer the gold coins to this ball. That's simple. Very easy. Okay. okay? All right, ready? Okay, again. Seconds. 45 seconds again. Uno, dos, tres. Go! Okay. <laughs> oh. Uno, dos, tres, go. <laughs> Oh, All right, focus, focus. Oh, wow. well, it's hard, right? You know what? Yeah. I tried it. And we have to do this one at a time, right? Yes, you gotta have your hand and eye coordination. I tried it, it's hard. Very hard. Oh my gosh, it's, it's hard. So flat and, and yes. slippery. And yes, because it's slippery too. And you're not using a, a wood chopstick, so <laughs> it's even harder. Okay, who's winning? I think I've got this one. I'm just pretending it's my curl. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get it into my mouth. Do oh it, Courtney. Don't let oh me win. Oh, my gosh. No, no, I think Courtney is winning on this one, Derek. Tell oh, look, no. Courtney has more coins than oh, your okay. bowl. Oh, <laughs> yes. Come on, Courtney. Right here, yellow tail. <laughs> oh, we're out of time? We're out of time? Ooh. Who's... Oh my gosh, we have to count this, you guys. We're gonna have to count it's this. It's very it's close. Breaker. It's very close. Okay. Okay, last game. You know how it works, right? No. It's like a maracas. Okay. You just shake, transfer all that to here. To the bottom. Lucky charms. To the bottom. Lucky, lucky, lucky charms. charms. Okay. Okay. Just like shake, shake, shake like maracas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, two, three, go. Let me wish you a merry Christmas. I think I got this one. I know. Like a shake way. I love go, Lucky go, Charms. Go. go shake it really hard. You know they have really new marshmallows. Did you know they have new marshmallows in the Lucky Charms? Yeah. Go shake it. I love marshmallows. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So what was the score? Derek on the Derek got one. three undetermined on this last one, but I have a, a date for you. It's a pot of gold. Derek. That is so sweet, but you know, it's just like Dolly Parton, I cannot accept this honor. <laughs> Courtney Zabowski, our guest of honor. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, Courtney Zabowski. We make dreams come true right here on Houston Life. Courtney Zabowski, Cheryl Pixio, good job. We're going to take a quick break. All the materials oh and the instructions for the game are on HoustonLife.tv. Don't go away. We'll I'm be right back. Sweating, Oh, we are still trying to catch our breath after all that excitement. Cheryl Thank Pixio, you. thanks so much for Thank stopping you. by. I'm always having fun every time I'm here. Well, listen, why don't you get to work, oh, turn yeah. around, you get a taste yeah. of our ping pong Ooh. game. Yeah, shake it, baby. Shake my booty. Shake it. it. Go She's ahead. going to shake her way out on this St. Patrick's Day. Courtney Zabowski, <laughs> great job. Shake, shake. That was a lot of fun. We're going to send it on over to it's Andy. It's not coming out. Dean, keep going, keep going. The show's not over that? yet. I, we, yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, the party's Whoa. clearly over there. I know. So, and, uh, and guys, we're yeah. giving tips and gold coins. You know, okay, we'll, we'll save some for us. We'll see it like 5.01 when we wrap things up here. We'll, oh, oh, we'll yeah. be here. We'll be here.